Last seen recently. How we will communicate in 10 years. Social media fashion is constantly changing. Recently, everyone was talking about TikTok. Then they moved into the clubhouse rooms, and amid the news about the slowdown of Twitter, they became interested in Twibe, its clone. Life is increasingly immersed in the online, where there is nothing sustainable. Together with Avast, one of the leaders in the security, privacy, and performance of digital ecosystems, we understand where this will lead and how to protect yourself in cyberspace. Back to the future. Analog habits go digital. A few months ago, no one thought that Clubhouse would become the most popular iPhone app in the Russian Federation. Calls without warning have long become bad manners, and for voice communication, you could easily fly into a ban. But at one point, everything changed, and people chased invites to talk live and listen to others. Perhaps Clubhouse has gained such sudden popularity because we have been hungry for live communication during the quarantine. Some attribute this to the boom in podcasting and the rise of Facebook rooms. Be that as it may, now it is more interesting to see where all this can evolve. Clubhouse did not last very long at the top of popularity, it was replaced by competitors. Dispo is an analog of Instagram without the ability to select filters and with delayed posting. The photos in the app are only published the next day and cannot be edited. It turns out more lively, imperfect pictures, automatically aged, under the film. The developers once again exploit the nostalgia for the analog world, in which one had to tediously wait until the printed photos were returned from the workshop. Technology is changing not only the entertainment industry, but also business. The Spatial app invites companies to hold meetings in augmented reality rooms. This turned out to be very relevant in an environment where people have massively switched to remote work and are not going to return to offices. The signs of the old world are again reflected online. Spatial users can get together in a virtual interior, and the application will automatically switch the camera to the speaker to create the illusion of a common conversation in a single space. Along with novelties that change the user experience, new threats arise. Remember the story about the security holes in the clubhouse. It turned out that any conversation there can be easily recorded without the knowledge of the participants in the conversation. Big Brother is watching us. Do you think your data will remain safe if you only use trusted apps? We have to dispel this myth. Digital giants like Facebook, Google, and TikTok are sometimes more careless with personal information than startups. This, for example, is evidenced by the case when Yandex was able to index the contents of closed Google documents. There are also many questions about how corporations themselves manage the data that is collected and stored by social network algorithms. They may know more about us than our loved ones. The reality of the black mirror is getting closer, and not only in authoritarian China. Countries with a free market and developed institutions resist, but do not always win in the struggle for the safety of personal information. Netflix's new documentary, The Social Dilemma, shows how large companies manipulate users with algorithms to encourage platform addiction and sell even more targeted ads. Tech giants have already responded that the authors are over-dramatizing and exaggerating threats. Even if you agree with this, the constant surveillance of users still remains a fact. One of the heroes of The Social Dilemma, Digital rights and privacy activist Tristan Harris worked for Google before leading the fight against digital monopolies. He warned of the danger long ago in his TED Talks. A handful of people working for a few high-tech companies control the mindset of billions of people every day. Time magazine named him one of the leaders shaping the future. Harris has been studying for many years how modern technology platforms are building the reality we live in and gain dangerous power over our perception of the world. He co-founded the Center for Humane Technology, which is fighting for the transition to a new digital infrastructure. She, according to the creators of the platform, should not serve the financial interests of corporations, but work for the common good and help humanity in solving global problems. As long as such a vision of the future remains only a dream, you have to take care of personal security into your own hands. After the release of the film, The Social Dilemma, 
many users began to limit the time spent on social networks. Some companies themselves have begun to recognize the responsibility. Apple, for example, is introducing a new usage time feature to help users get rid of addictions. Virtual reality researcher Jaron Lanier went one step further and called for a complete withdrawal from online. He shares his ideas in 10 reasons to delete all your social media accounts. But in the modern world, such an approach will seem radical to many. Social networks still bring benefits, but you need to use them wisely. For example, you can learn and analyze how you spend your time on your smartphone using the application analytics feature in Avast Premium Security, now available for Android smartphones. With its help, you can evaluate how many hours you spent on your smartphone per day, what applications you used, what permissions were given to each program. You can also use browsers that don't store search history, like DuckDuckGo or Ghostery. They will also show how many monitoring tools each visited site uses. So you can see for yourself how much information is collected about us. When installing new applications, developers are often asked to participate in the collection of anonymous data, for example, to improve the quality of the service. If you do not wish to share such information, please opt out of sharing it. As a rule, this can be done later in the settings. Life in web. While the boomers miss the analog world, a whole generation has grown up that does not remember life without the internet. People born in the late 1990s and early 2000s began using gadgets before school and grew up with technology. Scientists suggest that social networks directly influence the habits and behavior of Generation Z. Strong virtual connections helped young people avoid the emotional and psychological struggles that their parents faced offline. For example, Generation Z resolved most conflicts online rather than face-to-face -face as older generations did. The researchers analyzed the possible pros and cons of such close contact with technology. On the one hand, the internet gave the new generation an unprecedented openness and freedom. Social networks spur interest in social activity and productive communication with other people. In such a situation, it is much easier to build horizontal ties and develop civil institutions. The ability to find any information in a matter of seconds helps to better understand many issues. People have access to knowledge about inequality in society, about their own health and about any social problems. The awareness and consciousness of people is growing, especially among young people. However, the excessive use of social media is a concern for psychologists. They see it as a threat to mental well-being and sustainable development. Internet addiction leads to detachment from reality and causes loneliness and depression. Researchers have repeatedly noted that social network users often take virtual images too seriously, compare themselves with others who are more successful, and feel unhappy because of this. At the same time, young people make too much personal information publicly available and often suffer from it. Such openness turns into conflicts with the employer, bullying or banal theft of personal data. All this is becoming part of the global internet security problem. Telepathy and holograms. How we will communicate in the future? Humanity is not ready to part with technology and continues to plunge into the digital reality. In 2019, a survey was conducted in Britain to find out how people imagine the process of communication in 2049. According to respondents, in 30 years we will communicate using holograms, special chips implanted in the brain, or augmented reality glasses. Some have even suggested that emoji will become the main language of communication. Tech journalists see the future of humanity in the same way. Telepathy is increasingly becoming the subject of serious conversation. Already, researchers are trying to decipher brain activity and transmit its signals between people. In the future, a special device will be able to read impulses and give commands to objects around us. It will soon become much easier for us to communicate with people who speak other languages. According to journalists, it is unlikely that everything will end with emoji communication. Rather, the universal assistant will learn to translate in real time, while maintaining the quality, context and emotions of communication. 
Some analysts believe that we need to turn to the past in order to understand what the future holds for us. In recent decades, communication has been constantly simplified. From a live conversation, face to face, we have moved to emails, short messages, and chats. But easier doesn't always mean better. One misunderstood message or missed email can lead to serious problems, especially in business. People communicate much better in direct communication. In this case, we listen more carefully, share ideas more willingly, seek to understand the interlocutor and strengthen relationships. According to economist and business coach David Noor, humanity should return to direct contact, but with the help of new technologies, it can be holograms and virtual conference rooms. Zoom and spatial are direct consequences of this trend. The problem of human communication worries not only scientists, but also artists. Sculptor Jenny Brockman, for example, created the installation Dialogues on Future Communication. She explores social and natural processes and finds unexpected connections between people and objects. Her work, See No 16 Inches, consists of 16 individual chairs connected by intersecting beams. Strangers sitting on different sides must feel each other in order to catch the balance. This work very accurately conveys the idea of balance and harmonious development of society, in which different parties listen to each other and find understanding. It would be good if communication tools in the future actually served this purpose, be it holograms or virtual rooms. Thank you for watching. Reading is boring so we will be sharing interesting things about world and life with you. Share, like and subscribe, you know what to do. Leave a comment what you are interested in so we can do an episode about it too.